Hi guys, this is Chris with TheSouseBoss.com. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a quick and easy banana bread recipe from any of those overriped bananas that we have that don't look like this and we are kind of tired of doing the smoothie routine. So we have four overripe bananas, we peel them. Um, I have a half cup of vegetable oil, one teaspoon of baking soda, a quarter teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and it's a little hard to see in that guy, um, one cup of sugar, two whole eggs, one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, um, and then we have a non-stick 9x5 loaf pan. And then you'll need your oven preheated to 350 degrees and you'll just need a mixer or you can do this by hand um, by hand mixing it but I have a mixer back there and we're gonna do it with that so let's get started okay so we've measured everything out first thing we're gonna do we're gonna take and we're gonna add our sugar into the mixing bowl then we're going to take our oil, add that also into it. Two, we're going to take our eggs. I always like to crack my eggs into a separate container. That way, if you have any shells or anything we can find those so we're going to drop those guys in then we are going to put it up we're going to whisk it on medium until the sugar oil and eggs gets nice and fluffy light and creamy And that's going to take about two minutes. Okay, so we've gotten that. It's nice and light and creamy. So now we're gonna add in our vanilla extract. So we added that. We're gonna take our bananas. And we're gonna add that to those guys. We'll pop it back up. And then we're gonna blend it and get these bananas broken up. about 30 seconds to a minute. Get that nice and creamy. So there we go, we got that. Now we're gonna take our dry ingredients. So we're gonna add baking powder, or baking soda down. We're gonna add some salt. And then we're going to add our flour and scrape that down and raise that up and make sure you don't do it super high like I just did because then it will blow some of that flour out so we'll go scrape everything down But I'll take the collar off. So that way I can access the sides. We're gonna scrape everything down. Turn it 
this way we can just make sure everything is looking good. Okay, we're going to set that there. And then we'll pop it back up. Give it one last turn. And there we go. The best thing about this bread is that it's there's no leavening agent or there's no yeast you're not rising it you're not having to knead and all that so it's a quick uh quick bread so quick and easy and there we go and i'll show you the next part okay so we've made our batter which we have right here so we'll take and get any of this guy off um that and at this point if you wanted to you could easily take these guys and turn it into uh, banana bread uh, muffins that you could use smaller um, loaf pans and that so even though this is a non-stick has that coating, I still like to do a, a older trick I learned so what you do is I'm going to take just a touch of oil in there. Um, then we're going to take a piece of towel, paper towel, and then what I'm going to do is coat everything with that. And if you had the pan sprays, you could easily do that too. So got that. That's nice and coated. Now we're going to take just a touch of flour. Just going to drop it in there. And what you're going to do is basically create a, uh, a layer of um, a non-stick where there's a, a, a layer of flour between the loaf pan and the bread. And then any of that extra flour you're going to knock out. And I just like to do this just to make sure that there's maybe you've used the pan a lot and there's some scrapes or something. That way it's an extra, you're extra sure that you're not going to have it stick after you're done. So now we've gotten it all done. Now I'm going to take it and just right in. center there and I like to kind of take my spatula and kind of get it nice and flat oh. and there we go there's our bread our banana bread loaf um, we'll bake this at 350 for about 50 minutes or until you stick a toothpick in the center and it comes out clean um, so with that, we will go into the oven and set our timer four, five, zero, boom, and there we go. Okay guys, so we've pulled it out, um, take the old toothpick method, so right in the center. Stick it down, and what we want is it to come out clean, and it is not. So, back in the oven, um, once this happens, I tend to go, it's nice, smells delicious. Um, I'll start doing them for about five minutes from here on out. Okay, so we went about an extra 10 minutes on this, so a total of 60 minutes, and the toothpick came out clean. So, now we got it, it's nice golden brown, it's delicious, 
and the test. Boom. And there we are. That, you let it cool down. Oh, two options. You let this cool down. Next day, have it. Uh, I make French toast with this. This is really good. Or um, if you were smart, you had made two of these, did a double recipe, have some softened butter and a little salt, and devour one of these right away. Let the other one cool down overnight, and then do uh, banana bread French toast, which is one of my favorites with this. So, but we're going to let this bad boy cool overnight and enjoy this tomorrow. Have a wonderful day.